Yep, we did. All good. All right, well, this is an interesting start. Uh, Bark has no percent on him. Dog misses up B, and Bark was down being at the ledge. This is the loser's finals. People have been waiting for Pika versus Pika. <laughs> A tale of two tales. A prelude to the grand finals they've been waiting for, Pika versus Kirby. It's the oldest two matchups in the book, man. Oh, nice neutral airs. Covers edge. It's not going to be enough to kill, but it looks, it looks pretty. I'm wondering what the pacing of these matches are going to be, because Pika Pika can take a very long time. It can. Right it, now, it's, it can. It's I know. I know Dog is somebody that would do that, uh, but I think... I think Bark is, always wants to be moving. To be fair, too, I'd, I'd be a little surprised if Doc plays it slow after coming off two sets pretty much on fire. Mm -hmm. So I, th I think we're going to see a pretty fast-paced setup, at least for the first game or two. Now, if it starts going south and Dog goes down two games, we might, we might see that pull back. But I have a feeling it's going to be pretty in-your-face for most of this. Nice runoff up air from Bark and the Thunder to clear it out. I love the up smash uh, down B just because it's it's such a precise movement that you you immediately have down. Yeah. It's up smash, run forward, jump back, down B. Like it, it's a, there's a very precise like movement that you have to have with it. But every Pikachu is able to do it instantly. It's like a dance. It's so it's a dance. It's just a dance. <laughs> it's a beautiful dance. Good job on that oh, up tilt. Good try. Ooh, I like that single. He was just a little bit late on it, but he had the right call. Uh, I'm not a fan of that forward smash. Trying to call him out too much with like really committed oh, options. All right, that well that time. worked. Gets it that time though. He's going like really hard commit options, whereas there's there's a lot of things that he could do to just catch bark, like a, an up tilt or something like that. He is nailing that combo right now. Or throwing out a uh, down air to cover a lot of vertical space. Nice edge cancel on that. Bark going low. He's able to make it back to the ledge. I like that up because he would have gotten hit otherwise. We're seeing Bark make great use of his up air, though, in this match so far. He keeps just clipping right on the tail. So many zip zaps. Oh, that's, that's Bark, it. Bark's really good at that call out on the Pikachu back up air. Yeah, well, it's not just with back air, with down air. He just, he just knows sure. exactly where to place it, where somebody's going to try and go. Uh, their tendencies to try and snap to ledge or try and go high mm -hmm. to stage. So that He is going to switch. Wow. Right? Unfazed after getting his winning streak snapped. Really, he just wanted to commit Bark to that red hat Pikachu. <laughs> That's what that it's was, all that, was, that was the whole first game. Is like, well, I, he can't hey, be. Hey, dog he took can't the be no hat. <laughs> yeah, he can't be no hat because I'm already on it. But I'll just change later. <laughs> now, now he's set. I'll be interested to see. Uh, how dog's going to be able to get these kills? Uh, he can't reliably edge guard like he can against the the Falcons that he was playing earlier. Mm -hmm. Well, and another part for me is I'm just I'm a little curious to see how his Mario is in this particular matchup against a Pikachu like this, because we we have we have good Pikas in Colorado, but like DeBear hasn't been playing it much today. Up smash, there God you go. has been playing Falcon for the most part, right? And Detan's been playing Kirby, so I'm, I'm I'm sure he has experience on it. Don't get me wrong, but I'm curious if if he has it up to that same level of play as what he's getting from Bark with Mario specifically. 
That's an interesting question. I don't know. How, I don't know how much uh, him and D10 have done this matchup together because sure uh, D10 uh, well. also has a, a pretty good Pikachu. Mm -hmm. um, I think he's he, he's not trying to trying to use his Pikachu that much though. Um, nice. For there. for for a little while, he thought that he was going to use it in tournament, but um, his thought now is to go Kirby Falcon. and Falcon mm -hmm. if necessary. Great neutral air. Ooh. Ooh. But that won't do anything for it. Just a couple percent. He's still keeping this. Very close. Boy, the up smash oh. is brilliant when it works, but it's just so punishable when it doesn't. A low percent dash attacks. It'll do the damage, but Mario's going to get out of that and be able to counter. Oh, really good great combo edge. from Bark. And he did that uh, defensive up air, but. Oh. They counter. That's going to be death. And he gets the back air. That'll do it, man. Oh. Great grab. Great grab. Oh, did that clip it? Yep. And a down smash at the edge. Dog's having a lot of fun. It seems like he's just having fun playing his friends. Bark's been ex accepted into the Colorado family. Now an honorary member. An honorary member. Yeah, he came all the way out, man. It's been a lot of fun. Oh, Bark all right. Bark's looking fresh right now, though. Yeah, yeah. He's uh. Well, let's get. He's gonna have to win two sets against D10. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going back to Pikachu. He would have to win two sets against D10, and he's playing he's playing really well right now. Uh, I know I know we're talking about this a little prematurely, but um, D10 plays better in longer sets. He 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 gets increasingly better the longer the set goes on. So that's something that uh, you could try and factor in. Bark's definitely getting a little warmed up right now, so he, he's definitely going to come. Uh, hot off of these matches, regardless of what happens right here. Like if 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 uh, Dog gets a couple games here and maybe Bark Bark clutches, we're gonna assume that if, if sure. Bark wins, uh, he'll be playing hot. He'll be playing well, and he'll be playing a very similar style as well. Well, and it says something too about about the caliber of player that Bark is to go from something like winners finals, mm -hmm. lose there in a super close three two set, which is obviously frustrating for anybody. Absolutely. Then have to sit through what? Both quarterfinals and then losers semifinals? Yeah. You mm -hmm. have to watch these four matches, or three matches, sorry, where Dog is playing set after set against all these characters, and he comes in hot, crushing through Mad Rush, beating Devere, mm -hmm. and Bark just comes out and drops 2-0 on him to start. He's looking good right now, man. He is. Most notably, I, I think his defensive play is mm -hmm. really stepped up. Oh, oh wow! A call out. I like that. Swag. Swag. I think anytime there's an upbe an upbe kill at the base, that's a swag. He's definitely feeling himself. Maybe you should play Red Hat from now on. You never know. Oh, and the fast fall down here to finish it out. Ooh, good, good ledge snap. Though. That's gonna be a stock for. Uh, that was a great ledge snap. That yep, saved his yep. life. Mm -hmm. Correctly playing to the edge when you're getting respawn from the air of character. Simple things, but a lot of people don't do them, including myself. <laughs> Thunderkill Dog evening up game three though. This is uh 
This is a lot closer. This is the best set he, or the best match he's been playing I'm gonna so to, far. I'm gonna have to ask him about his all, all of his character three, switches. Three fall off platform neutral airs. Caught with that up air. Good snap to ledge. That's a hard snap right there. Good patience. Good patience, and it sets him up. Into the back throw. Edge guard opportunity for the chance to take a lead. I think this might this might be one of his he's, only leads. He is now technically in the lead, and he's got the position for it. Oh! They both reach. <laughs> both come up short. He's gotten caught with that a couple times now. Mm -hmm. It's really hard to deal with that, right that rising here. up air. Oh boy, that's Grab. really that's a really risky grab for uh, dog to go for because uh, if he misses it, yeah, because if he misses it, he's getting That'll back thrown it. and getting killed. All right, last stop. Last stop for dog, dog in, his on in his this tournament. tournament life. Dtam waiting in the wings. Loser gets third. Oh, that was beautiful from Bark. And he gets that, that, it. That might that be it right like there. It. Oh, yep. it goes for the thunder. Dog takes third. All right. Bark advances for a is there rematch. Gonna be, is there going to be another hug? A rematch with D-Tan. Where's the hug? <laughs> Bark just looks at him like, <laughs> are you kidding me? 